Third year head coach Terry Bowden announced today, February 5th, the addition of 13 student athletes to his program. This group consists of five Ohioans, including three from Akron area schools. Here's what head coach had to say about his newest zips. Jamal Baggett from Chicago is a player that we really love. He was locked into an academy, has two brothers that play at the Army, and we saw him play. You'll see the tackle. He's a cornerback there that can play safety, so he's kind of a dual cornerback safety, which you always want to have in these nickel and dime coverages. But you'll shoot great student, runs a 10, ran a 10.800 meters, track, track star in Illinois, and is a sure tackler, good student and gives us depth. We lost two seniors in the secondary corners this year. We'll lose three more next year. So you'll see us bring in six defensive backs. Nice interception there. Jamal Turner, 5'9", 184. Outstanding athlete. I believe this is a return from him that he just ran away from everybody. And, uh, and we're really pleased with, with him. It's good to get into that Chicago one. We really do. We just said we happen to have a contact up there. That's not one of what we call our base recruiting areas, but we have a contact there. And, uh, and it worked out very well for him to come in and really gives us cornerback safety abilities. Brock Box, we were very early commitment to us out of Beaver Falls, Pennsylvania. You'll keep an eye on him, his ability to get to the quarterback at the defensive tackle positions. We bring in four, four people that play defensive end or defensive tackle. He's probably 6'2", 255 pounds. Very, very quick. Uh, not a lot of fat on him. Got good uh, skills and just a great first step off the line of scrimmage. Coach Woodford did a great job, as he has done over in western Pennsylvania. We consider that part of our home base, all the way over to Pittsburgh. It's, no, it's about an hour and a half away. And this is what we need. You got it. We came to Akron lacking a lot of offense and defensive linemen, and we knew we had to, had to bring that depth. So uh, Brock is, a, is an outstanding, what we call a fast motor, plays very hard, and is an outstanding player from a strong area of western Pennsylvania. Uh, where these guys come from, and so many have played for Akron in the past, just like with West Virginia, where I went to school. That's just we, we've known of that area. But Brock Fox brings in a great, great uh, early commitment. He's been with us for most of the season as he came from that defensive line. Scott Boyette, an offensive lineman that really fits our need. We weren't going to go after centers or guards. We're looking for rangy tackles. Here's one, 6'7", 320, out of South Broward, Hollywood, Florida. We came across him because of uh, Trent Boykin, first of all, had a coach that worked with him earlier in his career. Uh, let's, you got to be watching the tackle. Watch the little spot, and I'll talk a little bit about it. But he's 6'7", uh, 320, committed to Miami out of the, his senior year, had some uh, trouble with his grades, went to junior college, and came back this past year. And he was all county, all everything, had an early D1 commit, early commitment to a strong school. And uh, we've got him with two years left on his eligibility. And, He's got excellent feet and, and, and foot skills, and it's that range, that, that length that you need on the outside. Both of our tackle recruits that we brought in, Scott Boyette, offensive line, 6'7", 315. He also was other high school coach, played for me at Salem College, so we found a lot of connections there. Kyron Brown, I think one of our first cornerback commitments out of Boynton Beach. This is that South Florida connection that we like to have for speed and skill positions. This young man is another quick, outstanding defensive back that Coach Chuck Amata identified down there, and even T-Buck. When he was here, he approved many of these guys before uh, we got Otis on board. They've all agreed this is one of the finer ones we, get, we had on our board, too. He makes nice, nice defensive plays. And so as you see these guys run, the main thing is they've got to have confidence. They've got a mobility and great confidence because they're on an island. They play out there by themselves. Uh, and uh, but, but they also have to be able to hit you, come up and strike you if they have to, make the big play. But we look forward to having him. He's an outstanding Defensive back, cornerback for our team. Andre, Bel uh, no, Anthony Clark. How did I get my get ahead of me here? Yeah, turned too many. Anthony Clark from Bookdale High School. We're 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 excited about Anthony Clark now. Anthony Clark, about six foot three, two hundred seventy five pounds, not an ounce of fat on him. He's going to be even bigger, but he is a big play operator. Uh, got himself more serious about his academics this last year and really got himself in a position to, 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 to be available. And there are a lot of big-time schools after him, and we were able to stay on him very good. Chuck Amati did a great job of just staying on him and staying on him. And, uh, and uh, he's got all the potential in the world with the big size that he has at 6'3", 275, and the ability to run and, uh, and play football very aggressively. Uh, Anthony Clark on the defensive line. That's the second defensive lineman we've talked about right there. And then we come back with Blake Dennis. Now, Blake Dennis is horrible, and he's kind of a, a player that will come in and, and uh, uh, kind of pay his own way the first semester and be available for a, for a chance at a gray shirt in, um, 
uh, in January, but he's going to be an additional fellow who comes in locally. And I wanted to mention his name because he has made a strong commitment to our program. Is this Givens? Yes. Chris Givens, this is our cornerback. It's very interesting. He was down at Holmes Junior College in Mississippi. We sent some of our coaches down. They approved. They really like him, and he graduated in December. So he's already here working out with our football program. But we committed him uh, to play at Akron, and then um, and he's an outstanding player. And then when uh, Terrell Buckley left, I had I'd, I'd always planned on trying to hire Otis Mounds, but he happened to be the defensive backfield coach at Holmes Community College, so he's going to coach the same quarterback that he had in junior college. Uh, and it makes for a nice relationship they have there. They know each other pretty well. But we're, we're excited to have him here uh, as another cornerback that can play corner for us and give us the skill back there. You remember Mal Malachi Freeman is going to be a guy hard to replace, but we've got some athletes that can do things like that. Al Malachi may very well have a chance to play on Sundays. And so uh, Chris Givens gives us a chance to have a cornerback. Six defensive backs. Here's one, Devontae Junius. Many of y'all who know local football know from St. V. Uh, 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 Trevante played outside linebacker, really put his hand on the ground, played defensive end a lot. He can start out probably standing up in a two-point stance, it's an outside linebacker for us. But just watch the way he runs. He can, he can do what you can't teach. He can run fast, and he can get to places and make plays. And, and that's what uh, we like on defense, guys, that we have tall enough, that we can put weight on, but speed that they can make plays across the across the field. This is a day of uh, uh, of spread offenses and a lot of motion. And you see a guy can run like this and change direction like that. St. V is just putting out a multi-living run down the back right there across the field and that speed. Uh, he may be an outside back on the end time time he's here. But he may get so big he puts his hand down. But he's got that kind of athletic skill. And we're excited to have Trevante here from St. V. We've got a good group of players there. Uh, Franchon Bickley, uh, Joe Weber, uh, some others there. Chandler Kincaid, he was our quarterback commitment. Many quarterbacks we weren't able to go after because we, we got a commitment early by our number one quarterback way back before the season. He's from Beaver Falls, good place for a quarterback to be from. Uh, if you want to be a quarterback, because that's Joe name theory, long unless you're wearing a coyote fur coat, I guess. That would be kind of bad. Uh, <laughs> but he is 6'5", 235 pounds. Committed to Pitt early, uh, and then uh, then he decided they uh, they kind of both mutually parted, and he got excited about playing for us. And uh, he's one of those guys that can stay in the pocket and make those throws. Uh, big, big receiver with a big, big arm. And we're very pleased. Again, Beaver Falls is quite a place to be a quarterback. And you've got to be able to chuck it. He's here already on campus. He graduated from high school in December, and he's able to come out here as a quarterback in December. And so very important to have a quarterback. That's why quite a lot, there are a lot of quarterbacks that we only sign in one. You just you pretty much don't have a second shot. We got our first guy with some really good quarterbacks around Ohio that, that uh, once they saw we got him, we, we, were on, we, we were no longer on their list. Who was that? Our offensive lineman? Kyle Ritz. Kyle Ritz for, oh, yeah, we love him. If, uh, Kyle's from uh, West, where, what am I? He's, uh, there is, uh, exactly. I got my, I, he is an offensive tackle, about 6'4", Kyle from Willoughby South, 6'4", plus uh, 295 pounds. Uh, it's rocked up pretty good, not fat. You got to be an engineering student, outstanding student. He's, he, he, he wanted Akron. He was committed to Kent State. He changed his mind. It, it wasn't anything they did wrong. He kind of won the act, our, our engineering program, and he went for that. But he is a power. You'll see a good power run blocker, of it. and he's got the range and the height to be a tackle. And that's what you want to go for. It's just uh, guys that have that kind of power and strength that he can open holes like that. And uh, it's one thing we're excited to get him, and uh, uh, he has been a good, a good, solid uh, first team All Ohio Division II, first team Northeast All Ohio. Kyle Ritz, 6'5", 295, Willoughby South, along with that 6'7", 320 pound tackle. And we've held one scholarship back. We feel like we need to get one more lineman. We may wait and see where our needs are toward the end of the spring. Is that Andre? Andre this is a defensive Bullock. Andre Bullock from St. Pete. Coach, Coach Stroud really liked Andre. He's six foot six. Watch him, watch him get off the line of scrimmage. Six foot six, two five, two fifty. Played basketball. He's very raw as a football player. He's one of those guys that's going to get better and better and better and better. And uh, we're we're really excited to get a player like this. That's the third defensive lineman. We mentioned, really, we mentioned Tre Trevante as a defensive end. He could be a linebacker. But this is the kind of speed and agility you want to have on that defensive line. Uh, and and he, he'll do a great job for us. And he uh, committed to us. Had some other Mac school offers and stuck with us. His dad's even two inches taller than he is, so he's got a chance to continue to grow as well. That's Andre. He spells it differently. Andre Bullard. I was going to say Andrea, but it's Andre. 
and him coming with us is uh, I like. Jason, Jason Williams is, a, is now, this is a 6'3", 185 cornerback. We specifically were looking for some taller ones. It's hard to get taller cornerbacks. Uh, but they, the, 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 this, he's about 6'3". What that does is when you take your outside receivers are taller, like Michael, Michael Trailer Bennett or, or, or Wolf or, or, or Chris Pratt, I mean, or Pratt, Andrew Pratt on our team, we have some corners that can play taller wideouts. So he's, he gives us a cornerback that's about 6'3", which also gives us the ability to play him at safety. So now you're talking to a guy with a 4 4 4 5 4 5 40 yard dash speed to play corner but the ranging is to play to safety and uh, we were really pleased to get him he's out of the, out of a Champagnat as Sean not Champagnat Champagnat Catholic High School in Hialeah uh, coach Yamada worked him out down there and very very pleased and probably one of the most exciting Fruits we've got. His film is so good. Watch him at running back and linebacker. Newman Williams out of St. V. This guy just makes play after play after play, and he knocks you. He knocks you silly when he knocks you. And I, I, many people have seen that some of the. I think the best film on that team, as far as video. We know they had two players sign with Ohio State. But watch his agility right here, making a big interception downfield. As a linebacker, he's probably about 255 right there in that picture. I watch him jump and make this one here as well. That's a nice play for a guy that's carrying that kind of weight. And then he comes out and get to that ball carrier. And what's kind of exciting about him, if you were to move him over to fullback, he was probably one of the best fullbacks in the state, too. And here's a fake punt. Watch him run this fake punt into the end zone as they won the state championship. And, uh, it's just a, <laughs> somebody's going to bring him down, but too late. And it's also great to have these two guys from St. Vincent. They know how to win state championships. They know how to win championships there. They bring a lot of pride and success in their history and, and bring that to our program. And so we're really excited about that. But it's really, a, you know, it's really a, a, a class that felt and fit right into what we, uh, our plans were. We knew our specific needs. We made a decision that to, to, to accelerate the turnaround for this program. We, we, have, we have 25 signees on this class. 13, I think 13 or 14 were, are, were, already, at, were already here from last year. Either from January or the year before, we also have Jerome Lane, who's played from Firestone. We have uh, Devonte, uh, De DeAndre uh, Moore from uh, from Kenmore. We have uh, Savant Pittman from Kent McKinley. We have a, so we've got a 25 member class, but you'll only see about 12 here because we've been able to get the others in earlier uh, and helped us last year. I think that was a big part of our to, to get that turnaround that we had. And that's what attracted, I believe, the quality of athletes as we finish up this class. Uh, and so we are excited about that and, and uh, uh, the ability of these football players. That's, that's what we've got to continue to do here. Next year, if we end up having one or two uh, gray shirts or early guys, that would leave us with our, our first, really, 23-24 member freshman class as we go out next year and try to hit our areas. It's, it's, it'll be the first one we really have a large number of freshmen we can bring in. Uh, and, uh, and so we're excited about that. Season tickets for the 2014 Zips football season are now on sale. Ticket packages start as low as $75 and all include season parking passes. Visit ZipsTickets.com for ticket information and to view all the amenities included with each season ticket. Or call the ticket office at 1-888-99-ACHRON. For GoZips.com, I'm Chrissy Pervonik.